Hopefully you're getting my emails, my little letters. They are the best way to know what the heck is really going on because I keep updating them and I'll change it and I put new information at the top, especially with the graduation stuff, please pay attention. It's really important, okay? So I'm gonna, the agenda is me talking for a minute and then Ms. Ford is going to do a little bit of a presentation. Then Priyanka, who is in the student government, in case you are not paying attention to the emails, will give just a highlighted information of what you need to know verbally. Then Ms. Ayakono is going to talk for a few minutes. And then I'll take any questions. If anyone has any questions about anything, I'm here to answer the questions. I will want to tell you that student media is filming only me, Priyanka, and Ms. Ayakono, so we can send this to your parents. So they're not filming, he's not filming you, I just want you to know. Uh, but I wanted to make you aware, just so that your families and anyone in the class who's absent will be able to see what we're talking about, okay? So the only thing I have to say is one, congratulations, and two, I'm available by email and in the post office if you need anything, that's my job. Um, and please, like I said, check the emails. The college office gave me two also notes for you. One is email, like I'm saying. They're gonna be emailing about college information, but they said please, update college decisions if you have not already. And two, they're working on mid-year reports. They wanted, Ms. Quester wanted me to tell you that, so uh, just so you're aware, okay? So thank you all for being here, and uh, I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Ward, who is your senior um, social worker, and she does medication as well. Donut, while also getting your yearbook signed by your friends. 
And of course, a huge thanks to our parent association for funding this event and Mr. Newman who needed special equipment to have this happen.
suspension for one to five days or superintendent suspension for five to 20 days. Please make good choices. Do not violate these chances regulations in school, outside school, school related events. However, if you happen to be found in possession of any of these prohibited items at the prom or another school related activity, you'll be ejected immediately. You'll we'll call your parents and they will, or your guardians and they will have to come pick you up. There will be no refund of the money that you put into that event, the money that you have saved and worked hard to earn, the money that your families have worked hard to earn to give you, you will not get that money back. Same thing with the trip. If you are found to be in possession of or under the influence of any of these items on the trip, you will sit somewhere for three hours while your parent or guardian comes to pick you up. You will not enjoy the trip, you will not get your money back. During the school day, you will sit in my office or the dean's office and wait for your family to come pick you up. Do not hold items for friends. These items that I've listed. Sometimes we hear that students will hold items for their friends because if their friend's parents found them, their friend's parents will be really, really mad. The student will be in a lot of trouble. So out of the kindness of your heart, you hold on to it for them. Don't. Because that means you're in possession and you will face the same consequences. We want you to make good choices. We want you to enjoy the last five months of your senior year. We know it's stressful. There's a lot going on, a lot of choices to make. You want to have fun. We understand. We know that students make, people make mistakes. And that's okay. But do the best you can to avoid making certain mistakes, especially the ones I'm telling you now. Don't make There are people here that genuinely care about you and want to support you and help you. That can be me, someone from my office in health and safety, Ms. Massey, your counselor, school social workers, your teachers, Mr. V. Talk to someone. We are here about you and we want you to do well and enjoy the rest of the year. At the collegiate level, if you're found on campus with drugs or on the influence, you can be expelled, you can be arrested. So and these are life lessons that we want you to bring out with you. Um, and your, you know, your physical health and well-being and your mental health, wealth and well-being are a great concern to us. It's not just looking to get people in trouble. We're not oblivious to the challenges and things out there that face our students in this world. But we do want you to do the best you can, make good choices, and if you need help, just let someone know. Any questions about my peeps or senior activities or anything from Ms. Massey or student government? Priyanka's got all the answers. Question. Sure. So what happened last time, uh, more than I did before, I, I'm the theater person, so we do a little rehearsal. But that doesn't mean that to be like on, like, it's not a show, right? But we have to make sure this is a big deal. You're gonna be in the Barclays Center on a mic. The big screen's gonna be on you. You have to make sure that you can do it. So that's why I need, we do rehearsal a little bit to make sure that people feel comfortable. But the bottom line is, it always works out because if you want to do it, you can participate for and, and practice the names or other people might nominate you, you know. <laughs> well, the big majors have about four. The smaller have two people reading the names, unless they're really small, and no, then it might be one. But usually it's two, and the big majors get four. Or more, could be more.